So it's about one week left of May and we have had such a lousy spring. We haven't had any spring. It has been raining almost every day and the temperature around 8 to 10 plus degrees. The snow disappeared, but I guess it disappeared because of the rain, not because of the heat anyway. We have maybe been able to sit outside for our daily fika, maybe two times or something. So that's really horrible. So, so far I haven't been able to tan my sheepskins. And hopefully this weekend it seems like the weather is going to be a bit better. So maybe, because when we are going into June and July, it's too moist in the air. And if I wash the skins, they won't dry that easily. So we will see. We have also had a spring flood and it has been the highest yet since we moved here about two centimeters higher than the last time we had really high water some grass has started to grow so a couple of days ago we let the sheep out so they can graze a bit before the lambs are coming so we want them to be outside moving a bit and getting some strength and also get some vitamins and minerals from the grass so soon we are in the season of lambing so that's really exciting I think Eva will like that. We have also had our first batch of baby chicks. So we have just released them out in the open in their pen. So it's lovely to see them run around. We are on uncharted waters here now. So what we just did is we moved the younger rams in a pen just beside the ewes and the head ram. One thing that I find really hard with keeping animals is that you almost always need two groups, the males and the females. And uh, in our way of keeping animals here, where they most of the time can roam freely in the forest, it's really hard to keep two groups. And how we have done that before now is that whenever the males get fertile, we move them up to the village and we have been moving them from pasture to pasture there. But this time we kept three 
rams so they could get two summers old instead of one summer before we butcher them. And that created some problems for us. <laughs> now when the grass is starting to grow, we want them to be able to roam freely here and find what they need. And before this year, we have always butchered all the rams every fall, so we wouldn't have this problem, but now we do. The best solution would have been to be able to neuter them, or how to say what the English term is, so we wouldn't have to worry that they will produce offspring with their mothers. And from what I understand, it's not uh, customary to neuter ram, ram lambs. It's more usual with reindeers and cows, I guess. But the problem is here as well. I don't know how to neuter them. And if we would take a veterinary here, it would be very expensive. So <laughs> that's out of the picture. But as it is now, all these ewes already should be pregnant. So that shouldn't be a problem until a while after the lambing, which we now have placed about two weeks into June. And I already mentioned a little bit about that before, why we did that. And I will talk about it later at some point as well. But as it is now, we hope for them to not hurt each other. So we have put them in separate pens so they can get to know each other a little bit before we put them together as a flock. And hopefully they will feel that they are a flock and keep together through this summer. We'll see. If it doesn't work, we need to find out something else. They seem to not be so bothered by each other. Maybe it will work. Thank you.
so one day passed with the rams together with the ewes and I was trying to observe this morning where the rams chose to sleep and they slept together with everyone but they slept on the outside <laughs> of the house mm. maybe they will Down. so I know I just now let them go roam free Down. and hopefully they will stay together as a flock I think they will it would be weird otherwise that is what sheep do Ska vi hitta på nu då? Ska vi gå och bygga en till ram till nästa buske? Vad tror du om det? Mm. Mm -hmm. ja. Fåren har fått klara sig själv. Nu får fåren klara sig själv. Kom då! I was a little bit worried but it didn't take long for Stig, the big ram, to put them in place. So now they all seem calm together. Hopefully this will work. It would be so much easier to just have one group until we need to separate out the new baby rams. Thank <laughs> you. 
when we moved here, the garden wasn't exactly meant to be a garden. We just started here a bit because we wanted to grow some things. We had plans on a bigger garden. But as it seems, we are now <laughs> stuck here. So it has grown from year to year and it's a pretty good place for a garden here anyway. I'm going to fix more beds because I want to plant more herbs and flowers. And Matthias and Ivar has been fixing around the berry bushes because they were kind of running away, laying around on the ground. So they put up some fence around it to push them up and also put wood chips underneath so the weeds won't be taking over that easily. I have also used all my excess wool that has been lying around and put them in the beds also to prevent the weeds, see if it will work. But I need more, so <laughs> I have to wait until the autumn to get some more and put more in my beds. And also I planted seeds earlier this spring and they were totally running away from their pots. So I needed to plant them in the greenhouse, so I did that too. So it's cucumber, chili and tomatoes and basil out here. Hopefully they will manage because it can be pretty cold during the night still, but I have put some cover over them, so I hope they will manage. The fence that I built around the garden last year didn't stand the snow so well, so in several places it has fallen down. I probably need to fix a new fence because this isn't a really pretty one, but it keeps the chickens out and that's what it's mainly for. So someday when I have the time to do something better, I will, but not this year. <laughs> and then the yeah. summer came. Yeah. A lot has happened in the past couple of weeks. We got some really nice hot warm weather. Mm. The spring finally yeah. came or... Pre-summer, <laughs> summer. It, it yeah. became summer immediately. No spring. Yeah. Ah, yeah. At yeah. least it felt like no spring. Mm. Um, so we have had really nice days from morning to evening and it has been so that has it so it has been very hard to find time to edit these videos <laughs> so this episode came much later than we initially thought yeah. <laughs> Last sum I guess it was the same last summer, but this year it's even harder with Ivor <laughs> as well mm. to find time to sit down and get some work done in front of the computer. Before you could work in the night, in the night or evenings, mm. but we are so tired now in the evenings, so it's hard for Matthias to. No chance, no chance. We want to say thank you to all our wonderful patrons. It means so much to us that you want to be our patron. Mm. You all make these videos possible. Mm. Thank you so much. And yesterday I had a phone call with a carpenter that mm. seems really promising about the windows. He has a lot to do, so there will be no windows for us until fall. Or winter. At the least. Mm. Mm. But there's no hurry with, with that for us. We have. We have lots to do <laughs> before that anyway, so... No worries about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to tell about that for all the wonderful people that uh, helped us finance these windows. Mm. So now you know. Those of you who have been watching our videos probably know of our friend Mose. No? Känner du igen Mose? Kommer du ihåg Mose? Vi ska prata om Ivars finger också. He recently started an English uh, YouTube channel and uh, came out with a really good first video and one vlog on top of that. I will put a link in the description. Yeah. Ivar had a little accident with his finger. A, a work-related work accident. Yeah. He tripped and fold the tripod and his finger, little finger was in between, so he hurt himself pretty bad. <laughs> 
Yeah. So we. So went. he was leaning against the tripod. He was just standing on the ground here with no camera on top of it, and mm. and um, yeah, that was a little bit scary. Mm. Uh, kind of deep, a lot of blood. Mm. So we went away to the <laughs> doctor's office and they took a look at it, but. They just cleaned it and uh, put some bandages on, mm. so no stitches at least. Yeah, it was. I guess it was not so bad, but because but because his finger is so small, it mm. looked very. <laughs> it was a big, yeah. big one. But now it has already started to cover up, mm. so that's good. Can I see you, We have had had it without bandage this morning, so it could get some air and sunlight and mm. dry up a bit. Yeah, I'd have a glove on top of the hand and the bandage. So he has been crawling around out here doing as usual. And when we took off the glove, he started to cry because uh, he sees the bandage. Yeah, so and then he remembers that he's in pain. Or <laughs> Should be in pain. Yeah. So. It will be interesting to to watch out the photos from this period. Yeah. Every photo of yeah, every photo of you will have a you will have a, a woolen mitten <laughs> on one hand. Yeah. In the middle of summer. How do you eat the cotton? Har du kott dig i munnen? Mm. Är det gott? Ska du spott? Jaha, så häller du. Mm. Så är det. Buse. And also all the ewes we have have gotten their lambs now. So that has been nice. Mm. It has been... Really easy the, lambing this yeah. year. Summer and mm. this weather and the grass is growing and a lot easier. And no uh, bottle lamps? No. So they have taken care of their own? Yeah, no problems at all. <gasps> so the problems comes <laughs> later for us <laughs> with winter feed for everyone. Mm. Mm. But you will see about the lambing in the next episode. So I guess this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.